Balthazar's alpha team has spent months doing in-depth research on individual NFT games. Every game that has been researched and meets the requirement has now been given a score. Today we release to you the current top 3 pre-released NFT gaming scores from Balthazar. The overall scores shown in this video are based on the averages of the 7 different categories scored including background, NFT gaming assets, website, artwork, team, white paper, and social nomics. Our scoring is our attempt at providing the most unbiased objective score possible based on available resources. So let's jump into it. At number 3 is the game Shrapnel. Shrapnel is a competitive multiplayer FPS game built on the Avalanche blockchain that allows players to explore the creativity in the game including skins, map creations, and more. The main gameplay loop of Shrapnel is for players to enter the zone as operators for a mercenary extraction force to find and extract valuable resources. Players outfit their operators with various gear which fit their desired playstyle before entering the zone. Each gear part is an NFT and is dropped on death in a full loot style system, making each match potentially have insanely high intensity depending on the value of the gear you bring in. The game will place these successfully extracted loot in the player's persistent inventory as NFTs, which can be used to craft or build out the loadouts for future sessions. Shrapnel also introduces and heavily builds around player-created content, providing professional-grade creator tools using the same Unreal Engine technology used to make the game will allow anybody to start creating their own Shrapnel content rapidly. Using the Shrap token, the team wants to incentivize player-made content by heavily rewarding the content that makes it to the top of their podium. If it works out the way the team has planned it, there should be a plethora of good player-made content on top of the main game. Speaking of the team, Shrapnel has a very impressive one. Out of the games Balthazar has done research on, they have the best presentation of team members we've seen in our research to this date. The team members have experience from huge companies such as Microsoft, HBO, Electronic Arts, Irrational Games, 343 Industries, Treyarch, and more. In addition, they have experience in AAA titles such as Halo, Call of Duty, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Bioshock, Killer Instinct, The Sims, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, and many more. The Alpha team's overall conviction for Shrapnel is high, and this is for sure one of the games we're confident will be a leader in the space and set a good example of what a GameFi shooter really can be. Based on an average scoring from the Alpha team across the 7 different categories, Shrapnel has received an overall score of 8 out of 10. At number 2 is the NFT game Dogami. Dogami is an upcoming blockchain game built on Tezos that takes inspiration from older pet raising games such as Tamagotchi and Nintendogs. In Dogami, you'll be able to raise your dogs in augmented reality as they go through different phases throughout their life. These phases are the puppy phase, adulthood, and the spirit phase. To level up your Dogami, you need to nurture it from a puppy into adulthood. Part of this involves participation in casual mini games corresponding to activities a dog would perform in real life. This can include things such as feeding and cleaning your dog, as well as teaching and performing tricks. As you raise your dog and participate in games, you will be able to earn their Doga Crypto Token. When you progress your dog to the adult stage, you will also be able to unlock a career track for your dog including police, firefighter, farmer, space, yoga, and skater. Other ways you will be able to earn is through their move to earn model where you take your dog on a walk. Or you can also participate in their very complicated dog breeding system where eventually over 300 different breeds of dogs will exist. Yes, many projects may be doing similar things with NFT games where you keep imaginary monsters as pets, walk with them, train them, etc. But what struck us as the genius idea with Dogami is the fact that it's about dogs. So whoever you are, there's a high chance that you can relate to dogs. It is man's best friend. Knowing this, one can easily see where this would fit in with mainstream players not even aware of NFTs. The Dogami team has a list of merits and backgrounds that gives us a lot of confidence in the company and its ability to bring what the team has deemed as the Petaverse to the masses. Across all 7 scoring categories, the Alpha team has rated the pre-release of Dogami a 9 out of 10. Number 1 at the top of Balthazar's current list is Parallel. Parallel is an upcoming trading card game that will be both online and playable in person through augmented and mixed reality technology. Although card games are one of the most saturated categories in NFT gaming, out of all the projects Balthazar has done research on so far, Parallel has impressed us the most with its attention to all the details. The most intriguing lore, a white paper unlike anything we've seen before, an incredible team that reigns on top in blockchain gaming, are all statements the Balthazar team wrote about Parallel. The game gets its name Parallel from their complex lore. The lore's short version is that Earth was no longer inhabitable after radiation spread from using antimatter as fuel. Different tribes split up in the universe to find resources and try to survive, creating five different parallel lives and tribes throughout the world. Eventually, Earth became safe and full of resources again after thousands of years, and each of the five parallels met for the first time, forgetting their origins and battling over this new Earth. 
That was just the short version of the lore, and the long version is much more in-depth and impressive. While not all details of the gameplay are revealed yet, we can imagine the five different decks will each have their own strengths and weaknesses, similar to what you can find in other popular TCGs such as Hearthstone and Gods Unchained. Even though from the surface the game may appear somewhat similar to other NFT card games, the team behind Parallel is what has the potential to elevate this project beyond just another card game. Members of Parallel Studios have a combined extensive experience that includes industry leaders from Riot Games, Blizzard, and Ubisoft. They also have an impressive list of backers including Chad Hurley, one of the co-founders of YouTube. And if that wasn't impressive enough already, they also announced that Parallel is partnering with Superconductor, founded by the Russo brothers, which brought us Avengers Infinity War and several other Marvel movies. Right now, our conviction in Parallel is unmatched, which is why after averaging the seven different categories, Parallel received an overall score of 9.5 out of 10, making it the game to be on Balthazar's list. That's it for today's top three. For the full in-depth research and review scores breakdown, visit the links below to the video breakdown or the full research report on Balthazar's website. You can also check out our new NFT gaming launchpad to get whitelisted for upcoming NFT games, selling NFTs and their tokens. Keep in mind a high score does not guarantee success for the game and this is not financial advice. Thank you, Salamat and Gracias for watching.